Hello, welcome to the Tuesday Tutorials Engineering Series. I am Elwanda Klusik, your host for today, and our panelist today is Rob Gittens, who will be discussing the U.S. Engineering Implementation Roadmap for Tecla Structures version 16. All questions should be submitted via the Q&A window as shown below. The chat window has been disabled, and we will try to answer as many questions as possible at the end of the session. The intent of these Tuesday tutorials is to provide existing customers as well as new and potential customers a more in-depth look at particular items for which we have received a number of questions. The first question most people have when implementing new software is, where do I start? And the second question is, what do I need to learn to be more productive? Rob and I will try to address these questions today. At this point, I'll let Rob discuss our recommended roadmap. Okay, uh, implementation roadmap. We have uh, three different milestones that we suggest during your implementation. A 30-day milestone, a three-month milestone, and a six-month milestone. These are not quite arbitrary, but these are kind of things that you, you want to expect certain things at these points. The factors in determining this implementation time are such as is there a dedicated IT or Tecla Structures Administrator, or is this someone who will be split between this project and another project? If, if this is a person that's full-time, then in that case, you're going to move a lot quicker than someone who has to split their time between a, an ongoing job, an ongoing project, and this one. So there are certain things that you need. To, you need to look at this ahead of time and determine this. Now, it's also tied to... How many employees are to be trained on technical structures if two people are sent to training or do our online training which I'll we'll get into a little bit later um, then you're gonna your time is gonna be multiplied un unless you're working in some kind of situation where you've got two people each working half time um, then you're you only have one person at that point so uh, technically so um, you know you want to you want to make sure that you you want to look at this ahead of time and find out exactly um, how to divide the time and which one's going to do what part of the implementation and which one's going to do another. If you're a single person shop, then of course you're going to you're going to do it all yourself and have to do it between jobs. Um, also, how 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 custom are your company standards? Do they um, do you have a certain a uh, specific um, section bubble that was done in 1932 that you know is kind of the signature of your company now is that um, is that something that you definitely have to have on your new drawings that you want or can you use Tecla structures out of the box settings so these are the kind of things that you want to look at when when you're transferring things we DXFs DWGs can be transferred over into Tecla it's just going to take a little bit of time to do that you got to remember that these settings were set, you know, over 20, 30, 100 years, you know, over spans. So they can't be done overnight. You're not going to be spending one evening to set up your company standards if you have many custom standards set. So you kind of want to make sure that, that these things, you, you kind of weed through and, and do we really need this? Do we really need that? Or do you want them all? And and that will also determine how much time you need to spend as the Tecla Structures Administrator doing things. Finally, Tecla Structures is not a 2D package. It is a 3D modeling and design software, meaning some people are coming from a 2D scenario into a 3D world. You're not drawing lines, squares, triangles, circles. You're... You are literally modeling a building. You are building a building, a 3D model, a a beam, a column, concrete, rebar, plates. All of this stuff is real, so the mindset you need has to go, move from that 2D into 3D. And this can be a hurdle for some people. So this is another thing you need to kind of consider is is if you're, if you're moving from 3D to 3D, it's going to be less of a hurdle as if you're moving from 2D. But... You're also, we think in 3D, our world is in 3D, so anyone in our business in building and construction can look at a set of 2D plans and see a 3D structure. So we're trained in this. Your mind already thinks this way. You just need to 
see, open it up to it, I guess. So in the 30-day um, implementation, uh, installation, obviously, so we've got a startup checklist, which the first two are preparation and basic setup. I'm going to switch to that now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on the extranet, which if you're you're obviously customers at this point, um, you have access to the extranet. On the self-learning page, you see an, I have this open startup checklist. Well, this one's interactive and has some actually documents connected in these, these hyperlinks. But we also have this interactive um, PDF document that is online. That uh, Pull it up here and maybe zoom in just a little bit. And you see here, it gives you the uh, uh, space for your company, the name of the person doing the implementation. If it's more than one, obviously you can type in more than one. And then check boxes. So you just you go down the list as you move through. Some of these things are going to take very you know just a short amount of time. You may already know who does your IT, so you just tell them, hey, we're going to load Tecla, so they know. Then you need to work on you know uh, hardware and compatibility. We've got documents on all of this stuff that will walk you right through to what you need to set things up. The FlexNet. Um, you, it's just, it's our licensed server, and I'll, I'll get into more of that a little bit later. And then your design workflow. You kind of want to stop and have a company meeting about who's going to be doing the modeling, who's going to be doing the drawings, and, and so forth. Now, one to three hours to, to install Tecla. So uh, multi-user, you, you, you don't actually have to do this, although it is recommended because you may have two people working on the same job and and you want to make sure that um, they have this access to be able to use the multi-user and model and draw and whatnot at the same time license entitlement that's mailed to or emailed to you uh, training now training is not it is not uh, required that you come to our office for training we do recommend this which the basic training here but we also have uh, our first steps, which is available online, uh, are, and we also have virtual training, which is is required if you come to our class. But you also have access to this virtual training, which walks you through a basic model and and allows you to go at your own pace and really learn Tecla. So at this point, you you kind of want to look at the self training material, which is what I'm I'm referring to. And which includes all of this, as well as just documentation that we have on the internet, on the extranet, I mean. And then you want to produce a sample, rock, sample project, which I have a uh, suggestion here. Well, just a little bit of an overview here. So the installation, one to three hours, and, and then we move into the model. This is just, this is basically my demo model that I do. Um, it's got a fair amount of, of, of items in it. You, you want to pick something though that represents what your company does. You see I've got bracing, I've got both ver vertical and horizontal, I've got this model is fully connected um, and I've got roll member here, you see this stair, this stair I mean the stair is basically ready to go to the, to the detailer and let them make the drawings. Um, obviously you don't have to go to this level but if you do go to this level then it's it's available for you. And you want to try this, try this out during your test. And and even you see here, I've got I've got rebar modeled in both my uh, my little stub concrete columns and my um, my um, pile caps, as well as a penetration here with rebar through this wall and in the strip footing. So this is a fairly comprehensive model, which is why it's my demo. I have you know a lot of different things in it to uh, to show here and uh, you may not want all this I mean you may not do concrete you may do embeds so you put the wall in anyway and, and practice on your embeds and, and determine how you want to do that in your little in your in this test model you don't really want to get much larger than this but you do want to include things like the cage ladder and like the joist that I just showed 